New Russian smart TV. Take time. Don't mash up my baby already. Not a fuffle of band, but very strong. Strong, strong TV. I have a 42 inch, and this is a 32. Come with a magic remote. Yes, can use Wi Fi. Can get your apps on it and everything. Mm. And put that one side. Um, there it is. No, there are things at the back as well. Okay. Right, so these are the stands that you get with the TV. Where's the remote? And these are the remote, the magic remote, and also. The regular remote. Once you get used to this magic remote, you will not need the other one. This one. But this is very good. You get a keyboard on it as well. And a navigating mouse. And here is my baby. <laughs> mm-hmm. Alright, this is a small adapter for when using the magic remote. This help with the sensor right here. So you're gonna place the adapter right here. You have a next section where you can plug in your flash drive as well. It's compatible with HDMI cable and also I think you can connect your stereo system, your radio as well mm -hmm. and you can also connect your computer as well to the system and there's a part where you can actually if you don't want to connect wireless with your internet there's a part where you can plug in your internet card as well mm -hmm. <laughs> the sensor for the TV for the 32 inch is a bit different for the one on the 42 inch the one for the 42 normally comes at this end but i'm seeing right here the sensor for this one is underneath the bottom of this and your other stands right here There we go. The two stands are on the TV. So now to get this plugged in. Let's do it, All right, time to get this on. Everything is in place. Alright, so we have our mouse here. So I want to set up everything on this TV. Do you go and get your app? But I would like to connect to the internet. You can either go right here to click to reach there quick. 
to like Wi-Fi settings if you're doing it wireless if not you can go ahead and plug in your internet card then you select your internet services that you're using it then so we're now connected to the internet and uh, yeah there's a date once you're connected to the internet same like your phone automatically update if your device wants to update local or online you should just go there just to check if there is any update needed to be made all right your version is already been updated cannot find any files okay and uh, for your apps if you want to download your apps you're going to go on optoid tv All right, there we go, and there should be a search button right there. There's the plastic on my side, so you won't be able to see. You have to do it again. So we got that removed. So I want to have YouTube on my TV. Go ahead, find YouTube. You can download Netflix as well. Um, normally I use Netflix Cartoon HD if you're going to download Cartoon HD you would have to get that from your browser so let me see here I don't remember which one of the YouTube that I had before I think this is the one here no that's not one but it's more TV YouTube but I like the one that is similar to my phone That's YouTube music. Not that one. All right, my kind of bit slow, so bear with me, please. Yeah, there it is. Gonna click install. Same procedure as your phone. next install <clears throat> all right if you want to click open you may or you want to click done that's fine but I'm gonna click open just to make sure right here For this, it uh, depends on, um, yes, for your device, you will need to sign up your Google information as well. Any Google account that you have, here's the part that need your email address. So you go to your email address. If you don't want to use her own here by using the mouse, you can go ahead and use here and just type all right let's see if this email works um it's not available let me see here if i have the card thing My bad, I was supposed to enter existing email instead of new. Just let me try right here. There's a shift button, you press you hold on shift, then 